Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In today's video we're going to be talking about fluid components. What we're going to do is we're going to be going through each one of them and explaining what they do and how to use them. Along with that we're going to also be explaining how you could use them in your own creation. By the end of the video we're going to be going ahead and building an example of one of these fluid creations um, here in advanced mode in Stormworks. Um, that's going to be including a custom tank and also a fluid cannon. Um, and then just pretty much going over that, um, everything that I do in the video is pretty much the sole purpose of the tutorial. Um, it might not be the best solution or example uh, in game currently, however, it's my image and it, how it's portrayed. And it pretty much just tells you what you need to know, the fundamentals and how to get started and then build your own. Um, so pretty much with that all done and dusted, we'll go ahead and get started in this tutorial. So first off, we're going to go to the workbench here in the Creative Island inside the hangar. We're going to go ahead and quickly just talk to you about each one of these components. So first off, we have for you, as you can see here, is going to be the fluid exhaust. The fluid exhaust can be added onto an end of a pipe. Um, in advanced mode, obviously, if you're not working in advanced mode and you're just using standard mode, you can just go ahead and go to the logic and hook this all up instead of using pipes. Uh, fluid exhaust, as it says in the name, it pretty much exhaust fluid or in this case exhaust that we usually use it for um, out of it this can be used for obviously engines um, to take the exhaust out of the engine next off we have for you is going to be the fluid filter fluid filter uh, one input one output uh, it works either way pretty much what it does is it takes any fluid in you can then go ahead in the settings select it and then choose what fluid you want to pass through it will not let any of the non-desired fluid pass through it will only let the selected fluid go through it pretty much as in the name it's a filter next off we have for you is going to be the fluid flow valve uh, fluid valve flow valve pretty much um, limits the flow in in the direction that you want so if you want um, if you for example have a fluid uh, pump and you want the direction to only go one way when it comes out um, you can use a fluid flow valve for that exact reason uh, next off we have for you is going to be the heat radiator um, as it says in the name it radiates heat so you have a in and out uh, whatever fluid you push through there it's going to obviously make the heat dissipate um, same goes for the heat sink once again any fluid you push through it it's going to dissipate that heat and then send it out Next off we move on to is going to be the fluid intake. Fluid intake, uh, as it says in the name, it intakes any fluid. So you can either put this inside a custom tank or you can put it on the outside of your vehicle where it's going to suck in fluid. Um, I've experimented with this a bit. Um, I haven't got it to work for uh, air intakes. However, I have got it to work for fluid systems. When I mean fluid, I mean water, um, otherwise diesel or so on and so forth. So this is quite nice and useful for using inside your um, tanks or outside your vehicle where you want to suck in water. Um, next off we have for you is going to be the fluid on off valve. As it says in the name, it's a valve that simply um, lets you control the flow going through it. You can either turn that on or off. Um, with a red input, uh, red being obviously a signal input, um, then you can control that using a push button, toggle button or one of those systems. We then also have the fluid port. Fluid port is useful for um, either input or output of fluid into a system. So if you were to, for example, have a pump with pipes connected and you wanted to suck fluid in from the sea, um, you would use this or you would want to get fluid out of a tank, you will use this to suck that fluid in. Once again, it can also be used to push fluid out of a system, so you can use it, um, for example, to push fluid out of your boat, for example, and then into the sea. Next off we have for you is going to be the fluid pressure sensor. If you connect this to any pipe system um, in advanced mode or even in standard mode, once again, just by using the logic system, uh, this will then obviously measure that uh, pressure within the system and then output a number value. We then also have for you is going to be a fluid pump. Fluid pump exactly the same as a large fluid pump. However, this is just a little bit weaker in terms of the large fluid pump, which is a little bit more stronger. Um, we then move on to the fluid spawner. Fluid spawner is useful for creating your own custom tanks that you want to spawn with fluid inside it. Uh, you can obviously spawn it with um, avgas, diesel, and water. Otherwise, you can also spawn the tank empty depending on what you want you can go ahead up into the select settings and then choose that 
it doesn't need any um, logic components or any switches or anything. It, whatever you select it to, it will then go and spawn that when you spawn the vehicle. We have three tanks that are supplied within the game. Uh, we have a small, medium, large, obviously all holding different amounts of fluid. They have one output or input, um, as you want to call it. Think of it as the same as using a fluid port. So that would be, the, for example, a square with a fluid port inside it. However, this you wouldn't have to go ahead and actually add a fluid spawner into it. This already has the fluid inside it. As I said, you can go ahead and either choose it to have diesel, water, alpha gas, or nothing. We then have a fluid variable valve, exactly the same as a fluid on off valve. The only difference is this is controlled by another value. So depending on whether you give it a one or zero, it will depend on how much you fluid you allow to flow between the two ports. Um, obviously this can go either way and then the, the number would actually control that. And then lastly, we obviously have the large fluid pump, which is exactly the same as I said with the normal fluid pump. One couple other things I will include in this tutorial is obviously the fluid cannon. Fluid Cannon has a two number of inputs. Uh, those number of inputs, one controls the swivel, so the left to right value of that cannon, and then the other input controls the nozzle. So depending on how high or how low you want that nozzle to angle, once again, once you get this all connected up, that will then fire fluid in any direction that you want. Um, depending on the strength of pump or size of pump you use, that will depend on how far you want it to go. We also have for you is a fluid nozzle, exactly the same as the cannon. However, this doesn't have any of the adjustments, so you can't angle it um, and you can't swivel it. This is pretty much directly in one position unless you would go ahead and do a custom uh, pivot, for example, on that. This, however, does have the option for you to obviously choose the spray angle, so the angle of what you want it to spray. Once again, a number input from zero to one. If you want it to be a quite a wide and um, wide spray, you would give a value of zero, whereas one would be a more tighter spread uh, and more directional uh, fluid spray. And then lastly, we're going to cover the hose. The hose itself exactly the same as a winch. It has a cable on it or hose, as you would say. Um, this takes two um, inputs, one to send the hose up, one to send the hose down. Um, you also have one output, which is going to be the length of the hose, uh, and then you pretty much connect it to your system, and then you can either take fluid in or out of this hose. Uh, it's a good way of doing, for example, a fire extinguisher system, or even if you were just to want to transfer fluid from one creation to the next creation, you would use this system. Obviously, you would have to connect up the pipes accordingly if you're in advanced mode, or logic if you're in standard mode, and then also give it electric, key, electric systems. Pretty much we're going to go from there on, and we're going to go ahead and just finish this tutorial by creating an example of a fluid system here in advanced mode. So we're going to go ahead and get straight started. I'm just going to be building just a custom base first of all. Next up, what we're going to do is, as I said at the beginning of the tutorial, we're going to be building a custom tank. Now a custom tank Pretty much as always, you would have to go ahead and actually build the tank itself. So we just, for this tutorial, we're just going to be building probably about five blocks up. We're also gonna go ahead and just enclose this whole tank completely. I will leave this hole on the side empty for this very point in time, as I'm just gonna go inside this. And as I was saying earlier, if you were wanted to put fluid in or out of a system, you would need to use a fluid port. So we're just going to go ahead and place the fluid port down. And then obviously if we wanted fluid to spawn inside here, we would have to use the fluid spawner. So we're going to go ahead and place the fluid spawner down. And then lastly, what I've covered in one of the previous tutorials is going to be our fluid meter. Fluid meter, as always, gives you an output value of how much is inside the tank between, between 0 and 1. If you weren't to use a custom tank and you were just to use one of the tanks that are supplied in the game, this does come with all these already built into it. So it really does have a port to fill it and um, drain it. It also has obviously the spawn value, so you can it automatically comes with something inside it if you depending on what you want to choose. And then also comes with the sensor to know how much is inside there. Obviously, we're building a custom one to our exact size needs, so we have to go ahead and add those in manually. Now we can go ahead and actually close this block up because we want, don't want it to obviously leak. Uh, so once we've got this all closed up, we can now start going ahead and building our system. So for the purpose of the tutorial, as I said, I'm going to use a fluid cannon. 
So we're going to go ahead and place this down where we want it, of course. I'm just going to put it there for now. And then I'm going to add a couple of buttons just to control it. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two levers to it. The two levers are going to control the pitch and then um, the swivel of the cannon itself. So we'll go ahead and now we'll start adding our piping for the system. Now a fluid cannon has its piping underneath. So you'll see here we'll have to go ahead and actually just delete a block underneath it to get access to our fluid here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just delete that. So we'll run a system going across up and then into our tank here so it can f pull fluid from there. So we'll go ahead first of all and then for the purpose there I'm not going to make it look nice. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly just pipe it up for us. So we'll go ahead. I'll use uh, blue for the system now. We'll just go ahead and get a couple straight blocks here. And then we'll just bring it out from underneath here. And then across. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to just be taking a large fluid pump and be adding it to here. Now if you see, if I go ahead and place this down and put one of these pipes over it, you can see that it has a designed fluid out and fluid in. So we want this fluid in to be on the same pipe system as our tank and the fluid out to be on our fluid cannon. Obviously you can change it depending on which way you want the flow to happen. However, we want it to suck fluid in from the tank. So we would have to then connect it like this. And then if we want to obviously push fluid in from something else, we will do it the opposite way. So we'll go ahead, just get this all connected up quickly. Go ahead and turn this round. And then the last thing what I'm going to add, just for a demonstration of this video, is I'm going to add a fluid on off valve. So we're just going to add the fluid valve here. And then we can easily switch the cannon on and off if we were to have the pump running all the time. If you go ahead and hold this over, it doesn't have a specific in and out, so you can have it angled at any way you want. That obviously might change with future updates, so just be careful. Always just hover your pipes over to see which way it's meant to be going. Now last off for the controls, what we need is obviously we're going to have to control this pump itself. So we'll go ahead and we'll just add a simple toggle switch for that. And then we'll also add a toggle switch to control the on and off for that. So this switch here is going to be to control the pump itself. So pump switch. And then the other one is going to be for the cutoff valve, as I'm going to call it, cutoff valve. It is actually an on and off valve, but I'm calling it the cutoff valve for this tutorial itself. So we'll be able to, just in case we need to, is cut off the flow of water. And then obviously, just to give you a demonstration on how this works. And then last of all, what we're going to do is we're going to add a simple dial switch just to tell us how much fluid we have in our tank left. To do that, we're just going to go ahead, connect that straight up to our fluid meter. And then lastly, we also have to just connect our throttle values. So you can see here I've connected this one on the right to our nozzle pitch. So we'll go ahead and just write pitch. And then here we'll do swivel. Fantastic. Great. And then we want to go ahead and also just give us a negative one value. So we can go left and right. And then the other pitch is fine we have it from zero to one so depending on which way it's going to go it's going to be flat or it's going to be angled straight up great and the last thing that we need to go ahead and do is just connect our battery because obviously we're here in advanced mode so we need battery to operate the pump and also the fluid cannon and also all our controls so we'll just simply go ahead quickly add a battery down and then we'll also just connect it up Fantastic. Now that we have that all connected, we'll go ahead and spawn this and see if it works. One thing we want to check is just to see what our fluid spawner is actually spawning. At default, it spawns diesel. We want it to be water. So we'll go ahead and select water. You don't want to be putting fire as arc with fuel. Probably not a good idea. So we'll go ahead, spawn this in, and we'll see if it works. Uh, and then show you the different ways and how we've connected this all up. So first off, we'll show you, I'll show you quickly, um, obviously, 
the cat the pitch of itself so we see if we go ahead and give it a value of one it's going to angle up if a zero of, if value of zero it's going to be flat and then obviously as i said the swivel left and right to control which way you want it to point so we're just going to point it towards the gate uh, at the door hanger or hanger door angle it up a bit and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut off valve we're going to turn that on and then we're also going to start pumping so you can see here the way it's set up is if you have this on Sorry, if you have that on, it actually lets fluid through. If you have it off, it stops the, stops fluid running through there. I had the wrong way around. So we have our pump. We have our, how much water we have in there. Pump is on. Obviously, our fluid valve is now closed, so it's not letting any water through. If we go to head and activate our fluid valve, you can see now it's now spraying water through. Our tank is slowly dropping as the water is going through. You can see it actually lasts quite a long time because our tank is so big. And then we can obviously go ahead and change the pitch of the cannon if we want. And we can also change which angle we want it at or swivel value we want it at. And there we go. Obviously, you can get a little bit creative and make very advanced and different systems to this. Um, as I said earlier, this, this is all just for the purpose of the tutorial, just to give you a brief understanding on how to get this all piped up and working. And then also just a quick introduction into custom tanks and how to use them. Pretty much i'm going to go ahead and end the video there um, i hope the video has been informative as always and somewhat useful to um to you guys please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also like um as always i'm on twitter and also on the discord community server which i'll link below um, and i'm always open to suggestions for new videos and please look forward to new content coming ahead